At its closest approach to Ceres, dawn will be about 10 times closer to the mini planet than the moon is to the Earth. Scientists believe asteroids like Ceres may have been the source of water on Earth. But they are especially intrigued by two bright spots in a 92 kilometer wide crater that might be related to previously detected vapor emissions. At a NASA press conference, Deputy Principal Investigator Carol Raymond says Ceres is unique in the solar system. We will be um, revealing its, its true nature as we get closer and closer to the surface. So, um, so the, the mystery will be solved, but it is one that's really got us uh, on the edge of our seats. Director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, Jim Green, said Dawn is a unique spacecraft. It has ion engines, and it's the only one that we've ever launched to be able to orbit two bodies, and in this case, Vesta and Ceres. Ion engines create thrust by releasing charged particles of xenon gas, giving a characteristic bluish glow while slowly accelerating the spacecraft. In seven and a half years, Dawn reached a speed of more than 38,000 kilometers per hour. The spacecraft has extra-long solar panels to power it on its journey to Ceres, which is three times farther from the Sun than Earth. On its way to its final destination, Dawn also visited Vesta, another protoplanet in the asteroid belt that has evolved very little from the time it was created. Scientists hope that analysis of the collected data will help them better understand the birth of our solar system. After about a month of adjusting its orbit, Dawn will start sending back data in what are expected to be stunning pictures of this strange remote celestial object. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.